watch today's interview with Sue Paterno on Katie over on WNEP. News Watch 16 Sarah Binoski found some of them and got their reaction. She joins us now live from the Penn State Worthington Scranton campus in Lackawanna County. Sarah. Well, Scott, Trish, no one we spoke with on campus here today was surprised by what Sue Paterno had to say. Some said they liked the interview. Others said they didn't see the point. Sue Paterno's interview on national television had some Penn State students sitting up and taking notice. Here at Penn State's Worthington Scranton campus, we found students who thought the interview was brave. I think it's, you know, gutsy for her to get up and speak about it for, you know, I'm sure it's tough for her to speak about all that from what she was put through, what her husband was put through. I admire her for doing that and following through and really trying to uh, get all the information she could and especially what she did with contacting her lawyer and having her, him like thoroughly investigate everything that went on with Joe and his actions and Jerry Sandusky and everything that was going on. Others say they're not sure why Sue Paterno needed to speak out at all, defending her late husband Joe Paterno or his role in a scandal that rocked the country, even the world, after Jerry Sandusky was accused and later convicted of sexually assaulting young boys. The Free Report, an investigation into Penn State's handling of the matter, faulted Joe Paterno, among others, for not doing enough. I don't necessarily think it's necessary for her to be doing this. I mean, I guess the report was enough. I mean, I would like to see this, like, swept under the rug. Like, I mean, I think every, with Jerry Sandusky, Sandusky going to jail, I mean, it just needs to be over already, in my opinion. Some students we spoke with admit they'll never know the whole truth, but they say they will always stand behind the paternal family. Joe did say he wish he could do more. So I guess he could have done more, but... I mean, he was Penn State. That's the bottom line. Now, Sue Paterno was also joined by her children on Katie Couric's show. They, too, defended their late father. Sarah Binovsky, News Watch 16, reporting live tonight in Lackawanna County. Thank you.